Find out how an important vote today could influence that fourth stimulus check. Yes, the fourth stimulus check. The latest breaking details from both parties on the long-awaited infrastructure bill and the great news of why this upcoming Friday, the 13th, is not as at least as scary as ever because of a stimulus check. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Happy uh, Taco and Tequila Tuesday. Hopefully you break out both and you guys are ready for this today's daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check, fourth stimulus check, Executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021. My goal is always to give you access to government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. Down below, there's a, a link with 12 different lending programs, 75 banking partners, interest rates as low as 3%. Make sure you check it out if you're in need to get that loan or an SBA loan 7A. Stay tuned to the channel for personal finance videos, stock market, real estate, credit, crypto, and investments to generate your income, save you lots of money. Also, right now, you can generate some income by commenting, believe it or not. Subscribe, like, and comment. We're gonna pick a random comment when we hit 200,000 subscribers and launch out $2,000. We just gave away 1,900 bucks. Make sure you don't miss out on that chance. It's easy, it's free, and you might even burn some calories. Also, grab your Weevil stock, two stocks valued up to $2,300. Two publicly traded stocks that could be valued as much as 2,300 bucks when you open an account. And just as a clue, if you put in $100, they give you stocks worth more. They probably don't want me to say that, but that's just the truth. Also, grab my real estate program, Masters in Real Estate, 36 videos, resource list, when to buy, how to buy, market cycles, where to get the cheapest money, how to not even use your own credit. Make sure you don't miss out on this program. It's amazing, it's a $10,000 course. I've spent $45 million on my education learning all this stuff through mistakes, and it's yours for $99. I even put the coupon code in the leak, had a programmer, so that when you press the link, it automatically puts in the coupon code, boom, and you get it for $99. It automatically discounts it, and you pay through PayPal, so you don't even have to worry. And thank you so much to my Patreons who support the channel. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoy the five articles a week, a look under the hood of my investments and the extra communication that we have, you know, through Patreon. But first, a vote taking place in the great state of Ohio today could have a far-reaching impact across America, especially concerning the forced stimulus check and more disaster relief funds. According to Newsweek, yep, Newsweek, the prospects of a forced stimulus check significantly increase Quote, if former Ohio State Senator Nina Turner, not to be mixed up with Tina Turner, Nina Turner, wins the Democratic primary for Ohio's 11th Congressional District. Yep, she wins it. You know, I wonder if people, you know, think of Tina Turner when they vote for Nina Turner. Like, is that her sister? Probably not. This is due to her past statements and actions regarding disaster relief funds and her viewpoint and stance on it including supporting a reoccurring forced stimulus check and universal basic income. She's been very vocal about it, extremely vocal. She recently stated on Twitter, basic income should be, quote, universal, end quote. And disaster relief without $2,000 a month universal basic income is just not relief. Well, she didn't say just, but it's not relief. While we'll see nationwide push for this forced stimulus check, we'll gain another ally today maybe later today. So stay tuned to the channel for the latest breaking details on the developing story about how much influence is going to be impacted by Ohio, which is a strong, big state that has a lot of influence in Washington. Not to say that every state doesn't have influence. They all do. It's just Ohio's pretty big, pretty powerful. They're like can swing stuff, right? Meanwhile, both the Democrats and the Republicans appear to be on the same page once again. <laughs> Should I say that again? The Democrats and the Republicans, they appear, ironically, to be on the same page. Yep, we've got purple going on. Providing support and admiration for the highly anticipated bipartisan infrastructure stimulus package, but also took some time, some time to, you know, jab at each other. I guess they can't be too chummy, right? They still got to say, hey, we got sides here. You stay on your side, we'll stay on our side. Republican minority leader Mitch McConnell explained how the bill needs to be done. Quote, 
our full consideration of this bill must not be choked off by an artificial timetable that our colleagues may have penciled out for political purposes, end quote. They always got to have some gripe, right? It's like, God, like a sewing circle. Always got to have some drama going on. Democratic Senator Majority Leader, though, Chuck Schumer stated, quote, the longer it takes to finish the bill, the longer we'll be here, end quote. I guess he wants to go on vacation with the rest of the crew. With both sides working together to agree on terms of nearly $1 trillion in disaster relief stimulus package, a lot of dough. I'm optimistic, though, that this could see an approval stimulus bill by the end of this week, only because they all want to go on vacation. You know, you got to think from their point of view. You think they care about us? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I think it's all their political crap. And, um, you know, thank God it's been helping us over the last 18 months and they didn't flip the other way and watch the banks take everything. Finally, instead of bad luck and the scares next week, Friday the 13th, how many of you are superstitious? I'd love to know in the comments. Tell me. Do you, like, not do certain things on Friday the 13th? Do you, like, you know, hold back on certain things? Maybe not drive a car? I'd love to know. And it's okay. You can be honest. You're not going to be judged on this channel. Well, you're not going to be judged by me. I can't speak for other comments because, boy, sometimes they say some stuff about me. It makes me wonder. Like, wow. Millions of Americans, though, will likely uh, receive great news in the form of another stimulus check. As part of a second round of disaster relief funds sent out through the child tax credit, rest the child tax credit. According to the IRS, and this is their quote, while other tax credit monthly payments will all arrive on the 15th of each month, because August 15th falls on a Sunday, the IRS is sending this one out early on the 13th. It's odd, right? Hey, we'll just get it to you early instead of waiting, collecting interest on that money. Senator Cory Booker explained, quote, we have a moral obscenity of child poverty in the country. 90% of American families will benefit from this and will cut child poverty virtually in half. It's 40%, but virtually half sounds better than 40%, right? I mean, added 10, what's 10% added? for exaggeration. It's nothing like Trump used to do, right? Huge, huge, it solves all poverty. Yeah, no, at any rate, I'm, I don't pick sides politics here. There are no politics on this channel. We hate all, all equally because mostly they suck. Did you receive your first round of child tax credit checks? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. The best stuff happens right in the comments and also it's motivated too by the fact that your, co your one comment and I saw one yesterday that really blew me away. It's a long, it was a long comment. I read the whole thing about how their PUA got screwed up. They didn't get their PUA. They're having trouble, applied for the rental assistance. And she said, and I don't want to mention any names here, but basically $400 is what she needed. And this month was the only month she's been able to make it um, up until this last month. And when she applied for rental assistance, they said that she had to have an eviction notice. Now, I haven't sourced this out, so this is just a comment coming from the comments, but we'll check it out. I can't imagine that in order to get rental assistance, you got to show an eviction because in the state of Nevada, you get a three-day, a five-day notice to quit, and then you could be kicked out. By the time you get back through the rental assistance program, you could already be evicted before you even get the possibility of getting rent. So if that's what the program details are, whew, Somebody certainly screwed up, and it's no wonder that only 20% made it out the door. At any rate, I'd love to know your thoughts. Put it in the comments. Thank you so much for that comment, sharing from the bottom of your heart. Look like a heartfelt about the PUA and the struggles that you're having with your rent and the kids and so forth. Anyway, I love you, and uh, I hope that things get better for you. Take care. Leave, make sure you leave uh, something in the comments. And also, do you think... Uh, Friday the 13th is a suspicious, I mean, you know, superstitious day. That's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, executive action and stimulus package update for Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021. Thank you so much for tuning in and for sticking around to the end. Please leave a comment with your best method of relieving stress. Me, personally, running, biking, I just ran six miles. Um, it, it's hard to be stressed out when you're completely exhausted. So, you know, that's kind of works itself out. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. Also, I'm doing Augusta, Georgia. Ironman, September 26th. 
So if you haven't seen on my other channel, I just posted Oregon. So if you wanna watch that, it's on my other channel, which is in the link. And you could see um, we did a nice, nice little video of the whole event from beginning to end. So take care. Thank you for your support and all the people that commented about Oregon and to the people that didn't care. Don't watch it. It's perfectly cool. Take care. I love you too. Take care. <laughs> oh, three months training every day. Anywhere from an hour to three hours a day. Every day just to miss a race. How are you feeling? Very tired. Exhausted. We're done, right? That's it. <laughs>